Hello everyone. I'm Troy Huber from Classy Bastards Catering and I'm about to make some craft beer from my Mr. Beer uh, craft beer system and I'm about to do a, you know, show y'all how to mix it up. It's real quick and easy. Uh, I do it all the time. I also make uh, homemade wine with the grapes and all that stuff. But I'm back to making beer uh, with the Mr. Beer system. And what I'll be making today is Aztec Mexican Cerveza. Aztec Mexican Cerveza. And it's real easy to make. Uh, 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 Happy New Year to everybody. We'll be uh, New Year 2023 uh, tomorrow. Happy, uh, Happy New Year. So I want to wish everybody a Happy New Year out there. I'm coming from you here in the upstate of South Carolina. Uh, Easily South Carolina. If you want to know, was 10 miles from Clemson, South Carolina. I don't know everybody that heard of Clemson Tigers. Uh, go Tigers. The Tigers playing in the uh, uh, Orange Bowl tonight. Uh, against Tennessee, so go Tigers. So let's start making beer. First thing you do, heat your oven up, stove up. Okay, first thing I want to do, I need to add a quart of water in this pan. I already got the pan already heated up. Just one quart of water in the pot. This is real simple to make. And the next thing I need to do, I got my little uh, barrel right here. You know, they come with the kit. And this is what the beer be in. And this is what I be storing it in. So the next thing you do, I got uh, different lines on the back that you know where you need to do your lines and where you where you need to uh, how high, how high you need to have it in here because uh, you know you're gonna be uh, adding yeast to this uh, Mexican cerveza and when you add the yeast, you know the yeast gonna expand and everything. So the yeast needs somewhere to go. So you got these lines on here to let you know exactly how far to go with your water on your on your beer. And it's made out of plastic. It's nice and easy. I, I do my wine out of, I got two or three of these right here. So I do my wine in all these right here. So uh, it's real easy to make. Okay, so the next step I need to do is pour four quarts of water. Let me turn it around so I can see the line on here. Four quarts, oh yeah, I already got the four quarts already measured up. Got the four quarts of water already measured out. So I'm gonna pour it in. Pour four quarts of cold water inside the keg. Uh, this craft beer made by Mr. Beer, I'm telling you, it's some uh it makes some great, great beers and uh you can get all kinds of different brands, Oktoberfest, Samuel Adams, whatever. You can order all this stuff, and it's you know, real easy to order. You can order all this stuff on Amazon. Uh, okay, so after the four quarts of water in here, okay, next I got my, my Mexican Aztec Cerveza. I'm going to pour in here, and it's thick. Take a look. It's like chocolate. And I make sure I get everything out of there. Get it all out of here. Every last drop. Oh, this stuff looks so good. It's like a bunch of chocolate. I taste it, it ain't, it don't taste good. Put some spoon off so I can get everything in. Put 
see any drop of it out of here. You know I'm a chef, so uh, we don't believe in wasting nothing. So I'm gonna get every drop of this out of here. I need a spatula, but I'll make do with this spatula right here. This stuff is thick. I got it, uh, I got uh, the stove on, and I got it on high, so it's a very quick process. Okay, I think I got it on. I wanna save this right here, cause it's a process I got to do when I, uh, when it's finished in a couple of weeks. I need to have the directions on that. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. This is what your mixture look like. Heating it up. So I pretty much heat this up to it start bubbling. So when it start bubbling, I put it back on there. Okay. And okay, I got everything I need. So after I get it, get everything poured on here. Okay, and uh Got my Mr. Bear bottles, you know, that come with the kit. Uh, I get like nine of these, and uh, you know, it's just like I'm buying my beer out the store. Mr. Beer system. You can uh, order all the uh, different beers or whatever through Amazon, but uh, you can buy this kit right here at uh, Walmart. The Mr. Beer system. Okay, so I'm waiting for it to boil. It's almost done. Oh, it smells so good too. Okay, after I finish the process, we're letting this boil, uh, uh, start boiling. I'll uh, pour the mixture of the Mexican cerveza. I'll pour it in here with the four quarts of water I already put in here cold. And then right here, I got my yeast packet right here. This right here going at the very end right here to Put the finishing touches on the Aztec Mexican Cerveza. It smells so good. And let me read what they say about what this beer, what, what kind of taste this beer has. Okay, Mexican uh, Aztec Mexican Cerveza. It's a light gold color, clean, refreshing taste with crisp finish. This is a classic Mexican style beer served ice cold with a slice of lime. So I'm looking forward to getting this finished. Uh, you know, it take a couple of weeks. As uh, uh, far as what it takes, it only takes two weeks to do this beer kit right here. But uh, the longer you let it sit, the better it gets. So I'm pretty much, my birthday is in uh, March. So I'm gonna brew up like two, like two or three of these right here. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do wine, and I'm gonna do two beers. So probably about time my uh, birthday come around, the, uh, 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 they'll be they'll be ready, and they'll be tasting good, and they'll uh, have the alcohol content they need to have. Y'all can see it's still, you know, almost getting to a bubble stage. Yep, uh, and okay, tomorrow, 
Tomorrow I'll be making another batch of beer tomorrow, and tomorrow I'll be making uh, Grand Bohemian. And this right here is a Pilsner. So I'm looking forward to this right here, making this right here tomorrow. Grand Bohemian Pilsner. And I'll also be doing a video on this tomorrow too. Okay. Waiting for it to get that first little bit of bubbles. Then I'll turn it off. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you to some, all my new subscribers on my YouTube channel. Uh, look forward to more exclusive content in uh, 2023. Uh, I'm a chef at uh, Clemson University. I cook for the Clemson football team. Uh, been cooking for, what, 33 years in the cook industry. Cooking comes easy to me. And this, uh, this my YouTube channel is like my baby. Thank you to all my subscribers out there. Happy New Year in 2023. And just look for more exclusive content. And for new people who just sign, who just uh, hit the bell icon to be uh, to get, receive my content, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. So the cerveza is now boiling. So now I'm gonna turn the oven off. Got my glasses fogged up. And the next thing I'm going to do with the mixture is, got my keg right there. I'm going to pour this mixture all inside of this keg right here. It smells so good. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, everything closed. Make sure this ain't leaking. Is it leaking? Yeah, so I got all my mixture. Let me stir it up. I want to stir my mixture in good. Okay, once I stir the mixture in good. So the next step, this is the fin uh, getting close to the finishing step and uh, with the remainder of the uh, thing, I gotta take it, put it up to the limit with more cold water. And I got uh, four more quarts of water right here. Let me put this thing back here so I can see it, so I can make sure I get it right to the line because I don't want to put too much more water in it. Okay, see the mark right there, I'm pouring more water in it, up to the line, I mean if you do this kit to, it, to the exact uh, recipe, you'll get some great beer, last time I done it I put a little, more, a little too much water in it and it kind of watered, watered it down, so now I can got me something I can measure everything, so I got everything kind of precise, about exactly what need to be in there. And I'll stir it one more time. I want to make sure this thing ain't leaking. Okay, I got it mixed up good. Okay, <laughs> test. Make sure I got this thing tight, ain't nothing leaking. Okay, okay next, right here the last and final step right here to the Mexican cerveza beer is yeast. You can 
see the yeast working as soon as, <clears throat> as soon as it hit the beer contents in here. Okay, once you put the uh, put the yeast in there, you don't stir it no more. You just let the yeast do the work. And what I do now is put the top on it. And uh, when you store in this right here, uh, you see it comes in this dark container right here. So uh, I usually cover mine up with like a towel or something. And I find me a nice, quiet, dark spot like I'm getting ready to find right here. Wrap it up in a towel. I wrap it up in the towel. Put it down here up under the sink. See, I got it wrapped with a towel. And I put it down up under here. And I just forget it. Two weeks, uh, the beer be ready, but uh, I let it go on for a couple of extra, a uh, couple of extra weeks. Cause I'm gonna make two or three of them. I take a little test here and now, but uh, thank you for watching my video, my video on how to make Aztec Mexican cerveza. Thank you for watching my video. Happy New Year, Happy 2023 to everybody. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Uh, hit the bell icon for more exclusive content and look for more great content coming in 2023. Thank you for watching my channel. Uh, have a great, uh, happy uh, uh, New Year's uh, week. And always remember, Classy Bastards Catering. I'll make your food dreams come true. Thank you for watching my video.